All right, let's see what you spent all this money on. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. Uh, good morning guys i'm gonna grab my keys here real quick just want to say welcome back to another video here with the 1970s and man oh man my pickups always getting dirty i was up pretty late last night decided to do a little bit of planting on some of my fields i was getting the corn done and i was up a little bit later than i really wanted to so i'm getting kind of a late start this morning but i'm gonna head over to the dairy barn and i'm gonna go do some cow chores real quick and as you guys can kind of see, I made it a little bit far. I got the field closest to the farm all done and left off on this one right over here. But it got pretty late on me last night. And so I decided to call it quits. Couldn't really see that good. Visibility was down pretty low. There was a little foggy last night. There was a low fog that came in. But we did all right. We got most of it out of the way. But we're going to dump a little bit of feed on Bessie's head here and get these cows fed real quick. Starting to think I have way too many straw bales for this little bit of dairy farm we got going on here. You guys know anyone that needs any? I mean, I got plenty to sell. Who knows, maybe Sean will follow in my footsteps and he'll want to start a cattle farm of his own. Maybe I'll have some bales to sell him. But since I ran out of seed last night, that's kind of all I really wanted to do is just go until I ran out in the planter. I'm going to back in here real quick and I'm going to get some of our seed loaded up. But we got about 19 bags of seed right here. Good old Pioneer seed. It's been pretty good over here in this region. They do have a lot of dealers here, so it did play off pretty well. We got this stuff for pretty cheap. My buddy actually used to sell that seed, so I got it for a pretty decent discount. But I think it was about over here last night. Yeah, right here. So right here, I had one of my row units on my planter go out on me. So my rows went a little uh, little crooked. I think one of them merged into each other. But hopefully, if I dig down here real quick, I think four inch space. Yeah, that's a little close. It did get a little bit closer. Oh, right here, it dropped like nine seeds down on the ground yeah this is right where it failed on me last night but then i think after i got up here about 20 feet let's see here real quick okay yeah so our population i was dropping a little bit more or less seed there and it started to actually work out a little bit one of my row units decided to go out on me but i got it all taken care of last night it was a little bit of a, of a turd fix to work on but i got most of it taken care of by myself so right now I'm just going to work on getting all my Pioneer seed put in my planter real quick. Once I get it all loaded up, we should be we should be good to go and finish up planting this field. I think I only got like a quarter of an acre, maybe about an acre left. Not, not too much to do. Should be about three passes and I should be finished up with it. And if you guys are a fan of the 1970 series and a fan of the channel, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. And if you guys haven't already, please be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. But I do think it was about 11 o'clock last night when I did finally finish up running out of seed. It was pretty, pretty dark out, and the lights on here, I only got the two on the front, and the other ones don't really work that well, so I was kind of limited on visibility. But I made do for what I could, and it made for a really interesting plant, so I'm going to see, I'm going to be really surprised if my rows are even straight when the corn starts to merge out of the ground. I think Sean was telling me that he even started planting, but we're going to see how things are going. I need to finish up my stuff before I even go check on him. I haven't seen him for a couple of days, so it's going to be a real big surprise. He said he had some things that he really wanted to show me, so I'm kind of, I don't know how I feel about it. I i don't know if I'm going to be surprised, shocked, and awe. I don't know what the situation is going to be, but I have a feeling that it's going to be pretty interesting. And just like that, we are now finished finally planting corn in both of our fields here. I'm going to leave the big one for beans later on. I think we'll plant that next month in May. I'm going to get this planter taken back to the farm, get everything all put away, and then I guess I got to huff it back to my truck. I think I'm going to clean out my pickup a little bit, get all the trash out of here, all my coffee cups, and maybe take all the tools out of the back here real quick. I'm going to get them all put away here in my amazing toolboxes that I have. And... Maybe eventually I'll give uh, Sean a call on the CB, or maybe he'll give me a call. I'll see what's going on with him in a little while. All right, I think that just about does it. I think I did get all my tools put away, so I think we're pretty much wrapped up in here. Hey, Damien, you got me on the CB right here? Oh, crap. Is that Sean? All right, hold up. Let me reach and grab my radio here real quick. Yeah, Sean, I can hear you. Just wrapping up this field right here. about to do my last pass and head down uh, to the bottom. 
All right, do you need me to come down? I haven't heard from you all day. Yeah, man, I've just been busy with this planting. Uh, this thing is going about, oh, sub five miles an hour. So, you know, there's just been a little bit of uh, patience in all, involved here. Yeah, that makes that makes sense. Yeah, I can start heading down there in a little bit. I'm just going to wrap up some stuff up here, and I'll meet you down there by your field. Yeah, come on by and give it your stamp of approval. I would appreciate that. Oh, uh, look, it's Damien right there. Hey, Sean. Hold on, let me get on my pickup real quick. And look at that beautiful tractor. What do we got, a 4030? Yeah, it was raining earlier. I'm surprised you were able to get some seed in the ground while you're still while it's still raining. I uh, I think that loan's probably treating you well. I bet I bet this thing probably ran you like seven grand, didn't it? I'd I'd have to ask the boss, you know. Oh, uh, the boss. <laughs> you you are the you are the boss. <laughs> I, I know that's why. <laughs> okay, you got yourself a new pickup too, man. This thing's really clean. Got the KC lights on top. Barely driven it. There's like twenty lights on this thing. It's a little absurd. And a hitch. Uh, and the best part. Man, this thing's really lit up. It's pretty advanced for the look 70s, this. I'd say. Look at, look, at, look at this son of a gun. What the heck? No. I'm a, okay, I gotta ask. Just just this tractor alone, what did this cost you? Because I've only seen a couple of them ever in my life, and they were only ever in the farm magazines. Well, it goes for about 165, 170000 This is something I've always dreamed about owning, but holy crap, man, you you just blew me out of the water on this one this is insane hey have you ever been to that welker farms there over on michigan yeah actually um i've heard of them actually yeah they have that, that? They, have, they, have, they have that yeah yeah that thing that what is it called uh, i think i think they called it a, a big butt if i remember right but there's like some thousand or like 1100 horsepower tractor the thing was a massive i think they have i think there's like two of them ever created in the world but yeah they got one of them and that thing is just huge why, why do you mention that? Oh, just, you know, kind of drawing comparison to that, that green beast behind me there. Yeah, if you made this maybe like one and a half times more bigger, I think you'd be about sitting at what like a big butt is. All right, well, it kind of seems to look like everything looks nice in this field. His rows are nice and straight. I got out and gave it a little uh, finger dig, and it looked like his populations were good for the square foot. Looks like he was getting enough seed in the ground. Everything was about six inches apart. The rows were a good 30 inches apart from each other. I'm thinking, I'm thinking he did pretty good. I'm really wondering why he was talking about Big Bud, though. I mean, that's in that's in a whole different state, and I I don't know if he, I don't know what the deal with that was. But I'm gonna get back to the farm and I'm gonna go see if I can find him. Hey, Sean. Sean, where's this guy at? Where'd he disappear to? He just couldn't have left. Like, holy crap! No, no way. Oh my gosh, no way. It's a big bud 747 and a big plow. Holy crap. Hey, bud. John, how did you manage to get this thing? Uh, you know, I called out Welker and um, they shipped it down. And that's the long and short of it. You know, write a little, right little check and that's that's that. What do, we, what do we need big bud for? I'm going to put some of these fields together. Get rid of some of them trees up top of that, right, right north of here. We could go over there and I could show you more in depth. I'm just more mesmer like this thing is huge. The tires are taller than I am. Yeah, well, I mean, I wouldn't give that so much credit. You're pretty short. I'm taller than you. Says you. I'm like two inches taller than you. You're like five eight. I'm five ten. All right. I never mind. Never mind. You're right. Never mind. That was that was self defeating. <laughs> Anyways, this is what we got to go on, man. Look at this cool thing. All right, let's let's go check out uh, what you want to do for some work. All right, let's uh, let's you know what? Let's walk up the side of the field and then just take a take a few minutes to to go over there. Walk. Well, you can get in your truck if you want, or you could get some exercise. Man, I already ran this morning, but all right, let's go. No, 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 don't be a whiner. All right, Damien, here we are. This is about the pointing start or the starting point, haha, of where we're going to uh, work on this field and combine these two, uh, blue and blue south. Uh, right here, kind of to over here through these bushes, to the edge of this corner over here, and we'll make like the little curve shape, you know, make it nice and smooth shape. shape. Uh, and then, uh, you know, we'll go over here and get, see all these trees in this strip of land right here between these two fields. All this, all this is going to have to be taken out. Then we'll get over here with the plow. Okay, so that's that's why you wanted to get big button here because we got a lot of dirt that we got to till up. Are we going to be Plowing through both, what would you say, blue and blue south? Right here, we're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna combine these fields, so we got to use this plow to really 
chop up the land a lot. Uh, yeah, I mean, we could, we could, we have the big butt, so there's no sense in not plowing both fields with the whole thing, with, with the big butt in, in, in their entirety after we, um, you know, just define the, the, the edges and stuff where we want to, you know, maintain, you know, uh, the, the boundaries, I mean. Okay. Yeah. I seen you, I seen you had some terraces up there. Are you planning on keeping those or what's your plan with the terraces? You know, I was going to do a little terraforming up there and smooth them out a little bit. Uh, it just seems like it's wasted land. It's just grass sitting there not doing anything, not making me any money. So that's kind of senseless. Uh, you know, it's not like I sit up there in a lawn chair and enjoy it or anything. So, okay, so um, just going to get rid of that just wasted space, make it field. So you're probably just going to go over it with like a blade or something, smooth it out. And then uh, that's after we plowed, I'm assuming, to break up the dirt because it's probably th that dirt's probably really, really thick sod probably. Well, you know, you you make a good point on that one. We should probably plow it and then and then uh, blade it, not not the other way around, because the so we have the loosened soil to work with. All right. Some, well, at least I think uh, I'll go into town real quick and I'll go pick us up a couple of saws and I think we can get started on this. I think Sean's going a little crazy. He's uh, starting to run his own farm, grabs a big bud from Welker Farms, and then he wants to start terraforming and plowing up new ground and making bigger fields. I think he's I think he might be onto something. Hey Sean, come over here. I got your saw right in the back here. I got I got myself a husk of Arna and I got you a steel. Go ahead and uh, grab it. All right. Yeah. So do we care about these little saplings, or are we just gonna cut down these big ones and then plow these little saplings over? Oh, I'll just plow the little ones. Okay. Well, this is gonna be really easy. Right, you go to the uh, you go to the other end, and I'll go to the, I'll just go right here. I mean, we'll be done in like two minutes. All right. Sounds good. I'll meet you right in the middle when we get done. All right, well, he sent me over here to this other side, so we're going to get this uh, big birth of a tree cut down here real quick, and I guess we're going to get all these fields done. Hey, Damien, it looks like we're all good here. Um, thanks for the help, but we're not quite done yet. So I'm going to get the Bronco. I'm going to hook it up to the winch and drag these trees over to the edge of the field, get them out of the way. Well, I mean, it's kind of your job, but I think I think it looks pretty good. We got all the big trees out of the way. Um, we can go through and probably rip out these stumps or something, but that's no big deal. I'll probably go hop in the big bud and I'll start making some passes, see if I can clear up some of this, uh, some of the sod we got and we'll see how it does up on the terraces. I'll have to, I'll have to let you know how it works up there. All right. Sounds like a good plan, man. All right. Well, I'm going to go enjoy my time in the big bud. Have fun. Oh, you do that. You do that. You and big bud have a good time. All right. We're going to try to roll through this fence real quick. I think the only way that I was able to make it was if I sw swung really wide and turned around with this plow since it's so long. But the big bud barely fits through this fence. It's like within inches on either side of other tires. But now that we got the plow in the field, we're going to get it unfolded and we are going to start ripping up some ground. And this big bud is pretty cool. Like this thing is just huge. I guess I could see why they would want this thing because I mean, I'm able to pull this plow like there's really nothing behind me. But, I mean, so far, everything is doing real nice. We're just working along here on the edge of the field, trying not to get too far over into the waterway. But we're going to cut up here real soon, and we are going to start ripping up some of this fresh sod and, and breaking down these fields and combining them all into one total field.
well, this is going to conclude everything with getting the big bud using the plow. I see Sean sitting over here by the gate waiting for me, so I'm going to hop out talk with him, and I guess I'm going to see what he wants me to do with this big old piece of equipment. Hey, Damien, how's it going? Hey, um, so this big this big bud, where, where do we need to have this big bud at? Uh, You know, that was the only job I had for it. Okay, so you're just saying we'll just set it on the other side of your shop, and then I guess they're going to come by and pick it up whenever they need it back? That sounds fine, yeah. Actually, you can park it across the road from the shop. There's a little bit more space there, easier loading than and maneuvering. Yeah, but if you don't need anything from me, I'm going to get this big old hunk of junk hauled out, and I'm going to park it on the other side of your shop. Yep, you do that. That sounds great, dude. Well, that was definitely a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity right there that I just got handed to me. Pretty proud of Sean for actually being able to get the boys from Welker Farms to be able to let us use their 747. That thing is a very powerful, powerful beast, and it pulled that plow like... Like there was nothing behind it, and I could have pulled probably two to three more of it. I'm going to get heading back to my farm. I got beans I got to finish up here in the next couple of weeks. I'm going to take myself a nice break because, I mean, I'm pretty pretty tired after cutting down all those trees. So the, that being said, everybody, if you guys do enjoy this content. You will see more like it. Please do not forget to smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to Midwest Ag for more. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.